Mark McGowan from St. Michael's College and the University of Toronto and I'm on board a replica of the Jeannie Johnson here in the Liffey River in Dublin. It's a replica of a famine ship that was actually built in Canada but sailed after 1847, so it wouldn't have been a ship uh, that would have carried uh, any of the 1490 from, from Strokestown. Uh, what it does, though, is gives you a sense of the size of the average ship that transported famine migrants uh, from Ireland and from British ports uh, to, uh, to British North America and the United States from 1847 on. Uh, the interesting thing about where we are now at Customs House Key is this is where the first mention of Dennis Mann's 1490 comes into the papers. And on 25th of May, it is said that the first wave of his migrants arrived. They were from the Kilglass uh, Parish. Uh, there were about 130, according to the local Dublin news. And for the first time, it was recorded that these people actually knew where they were going. And it wasn't Quebec one of the crowd told the reporter that they were going to Upper Canada, uh, which is one of the first pieces of information from the Berrien in Quebec City, a weekly newspaper, that we actually know that these people may have had some agency in terms of who they met when they crossed the ocean and where they intended to settle or sojourn. Now unfortunately, on ships like this, uh, you had a mixed bag of uh, of, of captains who took care of the passengers in their care and those who did not. These were not passenger vessels essentially. These were cargo ships uh, that usually carried timber and, and grain and other cargo that would be refitted across the Atlantic Ocean using human ballast instead of stones. The four ships, very much like this one, uh, that the 1490 uh, sailed on, uh, Aaron's Queen, uh, the John Munn, the Naomi and the Virginius, sailed out of Liverpool and at least three of those ships had captains with, how should we say, less than adequate sanitary, food or medical conditions on board the vessels. Unfortunately, by the time these ships reach Gros Eel and the quarantine, about 30% of uh, the, the household heads had died and close to uh, one quarter or one over one in every four passengers had, had died. Interestingly enough, and ironically here on the Jeannie Johnson, it had a perfect record of no deaths at sea when it sailed. Deep in your memory, deep in the dreaming, deep beneath the beating of your ancient heart, there burns a spirit, a strong, noble spirit. Remember, deep beyond memory, back before the dreaming, deep in the blood that is flowing through our bodies, we are the people, we are the children, the children of the land of the scholar and the poet. Remember our heritage, hold on to its beauty, keep alive the music of our native tongue, but don't forget our sorrows and all of our sadnesses. Reflect on all that we have overcome. If we can remember, we can try to understand. If we can understand, we can learn to forgive. If we can forgive, we can begin to grow. Remember, remember, remember. Godawin of the Chivne, Godawin of the Ashling, Godawin for Hushle, the Hamachrin. The Anamado, Anam Ursul, the Stream, Kivnik, Kivnik. Godawin Riven Kivne, Sarahonik and Ashling, Godawin Savil, at High Richie the Corp. Is Mudna on Pobble, Is Mudna on Oike, Schlocht na Scalari, Is Fili or Nuche, Kuvniger or Nairacht, Kuniglav or Nailacht, Kunikol or Danga, Briever of his bill, Ach na Dermad or Gahu, Is on Dovron Galer, Kuniglav or Maid or Honeywood Harish. As Federling Kuvnu, Is Tachter and Tishkind, was fader in Tishkind, my foreign cree. My wife made a chale, took a borough as false. Kuvnig, Kuvnig, Kuvnig. <laughs>